and welcome to Mr. Barton's autograph video number 29. Now last week we looked at how we might use autograph to introduce students to scatter diagrams and the concepts of the line of best fit. And this week I thought we'd take that one stage further and use autograph to show exactly where this line of best fit comes from. And what I quite like about this is it provides a nice little bridge between key stage 4 maths and A level maths where students are taught about lines of regression and all that kind of stuff. So I'm in standard mode, I literally haven't done a thing and I can't even be bothered this week sorting out my axes using the conventional way so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use this little drag function and I'm going to drag my axes down there until they look something like what I'm after which is pretty good there. Um, I am going to pop a load of points on, but first I'm going to make sure I'm in grid snap settings of a tenth, because I want a little bit of flexibility here. So let's just pop a few points on, and I think I'll go for a bit of a negative correlation, something like that. That's not looking too bad. Um, and I'm also just going to get rid of this key at the bottom, so right-click, show key. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell Autograph that I want all those points to be part of one big data set. So I'm going to just use a bit of marquee select. So I'm just dragging around those points. They're all selected. And if I go for a right click, then hopefully down here there's convert to data set. Now what that means is if I click on one of those points, every single point selected. What it also means is if I double click on one of those points, I get to see all the pieces of data. And of course I can paste in to and from Excel or any other office application like this, which is good. Another nice thing here is this little perform auto scale thing. Now, if that's not ticked and I click OK, nothing changes. If that is ticked, Autograph says, I think I can do a better job than you at sorting out your axes. Let's have a look. Yeah, it can. Not bad. Uh, the other thing is these are part of a data set, so I can't move those. I can't drag them. But I can if I use a little sneaky technique. If I hold down Control and then click on one, I can move it up and down or wherever I want, which is quite useful. Okay, right, we're going to do a similar thing as we did last week and get a line ourselves so we can experiment with this line of best fit. So two points, pop one there, pop one there, bit of marquee select, just select both of those points, right click and hopefully near the bottom I get straight line. And I can do what I did last week and get the students to try and put on where they think a decent line of best fit would go. And then we can start talking about what, what, they're, what they're actually trying to do here. Are they trying to make sure there's the same number of points below the line as above the line? Um, or is it something else? Is something else more important? And what we start to get to there is that what's actually important is the distance that each of these points is away from the line. And Autograph's got a really nice way of showing this. If I click on one of those points, which selects them all, and then I click on my uh, supposed line of best fit, and I right-click, I get the option of this X on Y and Y on X residuals. Now, it's up to you at this stage whether you go into the whole difference between these two things, but if we're just introducing it, then Y on X is absolutely fine, which treats X as the independent variable. So I'll give that a little click. And what I'm going to go for first is I'm going to go for draw lines in this little box and click OK. And look at that. I think that's really nice. So now Autograph is measuring the distance that each of those points is away from the line. And what the line of best fit is trying to do, of, of course, is minimize the sum of all those distances. But then we can go further than that, and we can say, well, some of them are below the line, and so we're going to have a negative value, and some are above the line, I'm going to have a positive value, and we don't want those kind of cancelling each other out. So what we actually do instead is square those values, and once again, Autograph can show this really, really nicely. So if I double-click on it, and instead of having draw lines, have draw squares, and click OK, then I get the squares there. And what we're trying to do is minimize the sum of the areas of these squares. So let's have a look what that sum looks like. If I just select my squares and do a bit of text box, I get this. I'm just going to go for my nice little ice blue that I'm a fan of. Click OK. And there you go. That's the sum of all the squares. And if I move that, that goes up and down. And we can have a little game trying to get that as, min as small as possible. And when we think we've got it, all we need to do is click on one of these points. And if I right click and down the bottom I get line of best fit, then Autograph actually shows us what the best line is. And we can match that up with our points and show that, yeah, in fact, that is a pretty low value compared to the other ones we've got. So there is a way that you might want to use Autograph to introduce students to where this line of best fit comes from and give them a little teaser for what's coming in statistics when they get a bit older. Hope that was helpful and I will see you next week. Bye bye.